This is my real life. A lot of it is online. My friends, homework, muse, it's where I connect with what I love. But here's where it gets hard. When my ex threatens to share a private picture of me online if I don't share more. When people say I should kill myself after talking about my depression openly online. <laughs> when someone posts that I'm not a real girl because I'm trans. When I get shamed for what I'm wearing. When someone says my skin is too dark. It hurts. Really bad. It makes me feel unsafe. This isn't something I can ignore or brush it's off. It's not just trolling or bullying or kids being kids. It's, it's violence. violence. It's, it's not, not okay. okay. Telling us to stay offline to stay safe is like telling us to stay home so we don't get attacked. Either way, we're isolated and blamed for the problem. And many people think it's just strangers who do this stuff, but that's a myth. It's also people I know. People I go to school with. My ex. Some of the people who call themselves my friends. We should be able to go online without violence. When cyber violence happens, these are the things I tell myself. It's not my fault. Breathe. I'm not alone. Tell somebody. Treat myself. Mm. This is everyone's problem. Here are a few things people can do to help. Stop blaming me. Treat cyber violence as a crime that should be taken seriously. Teach people about consent. Hmm? Collaborate with social media sites to protect us. The internet is for all of us. The cost of being a woman online shouldn't be violent. We don't need to be offline or ignored. We need to press, press pause, pause, take care, and take, take action. action.